Hey, it's Sean Shapiro with another episode of TPS Traffic Jam, a special episode, and I'm joined in studio by Stephen Curry of Pro Action Cops and Kids. Did I say that right? Is it Cops and Kids? Yep. I'm glad I got it right. Uh, so what we're doing and what you're seeing right now is the Monopoly Toronto edition. It's cool. If you were a, if you were a Monopoly fan, this is the coolest thing ever. Well, assuming you like Toronto. Exactly. If you don't like Toronto, this isn't special. So tell me what we got here, aside, like, like, other than the fact that it's a game that's Toronto themed. What, what's happening here? Well, what we have, Sean, is the celebration of the city of Toronto, really. Uh, we have uh, so many of the most iconic landmarks in Toronto on our board, uh, starting on the other side near you with the CN Tower and Ripley's. Uh, over along the wall here, we have all the Mervish theaters, the downtown theaters. We have Exhibition Place, Canada's Wonderland, the zoo. You name it, all the sp big sports facilities, uh, BMO Field, Rogers Centre, Scotiabank Arena, we've got them all. Everybody is supporting this game. I love it. I've arrested people at some of these places. These are fantastic locations. And, of course, I'm Toronto, uh, you know, born and raised, and this is amazing. And I knew this existed because I've seen it before. I've never seen it in person, i got to say, but I I've seen it uh, in internal mail and things like that talking about it. Uh, and I've wanted it, so I'm glad that you delivered one for it because now I, <laughs> I, I, I got to buy it. And I, it happens to be my best friend's birthday today, and he happens to be the most competitive Monopoly player on the planet. Uh, so He's going to love this. Well, this is his birthday present. So I guess I have to buy two of them because I need one for myself too. Uh, I love this. So all, all sorts of great photography representing each of the different locations. But it's not just because you wanted to make a themed game. This is going no. place. This is raising money. This is raising money, Sean, for 11 different charities in the city of Toronto. We ordered 30,000 games. We've sold well over 10,000 now. And the proceeds of the games will go to a wide range of charities, many of them selected by the companies and businesses who bought properties on the board. So they actually bought their properties. They paid for the real estate on the board. They did. And they paid in a way that is aligned to the value of the board. No kidding. Okay. Well, that's amazing because you do. And let's talk about what ProAction Cops and Kids does because sure. that gives them background. ProAction has existed for over 30 years. It started in the city of Toronto. And the idea is that we try and put youth together with police officers in programs that are developed and managed by officers for the kids. So that could be anything related to all sorts of different sports. It could be camping. It could be cooking. It could be dancing. Uh, we Yoga. We have had hundreds and hundreds of programs over the 30 years. Our program now extends from Durham to Hamilton. And we have raised over $9 million in the 30 years wow. and run thousands of programs. We have put over 450,000 youth through police-led programs in southern Ontario over these 30 years. That's amazing. I mean, I, I've seen other programs, and I've been involved with— uh, because you, as a, as a police officer, if I have a great idea for a way to engage youth and help, and I can ask for, for funding. And I remember when I was at 32 Division as an auxiliary officer, we hosted a photography program, which I ran, uh, bringing youth together with police to, uh, to teach not only lessons but develop the relationships. You hit on it, Sean. This is all about building relationship and, frankly, building trust between the youth and the officers. Well, it's fantastic. I, I, should we play a couple games? Sure. Okay. So let's see, let's see here. Uh, who do you want to be? We've got, we've got the CN Tower. Uh, we've got a hockey player, which is awesome. Which Toronto, we've got, a, we've got the Hall of Fame, but, uh, but uh, we've got a, we got got a street car. Street car. Uh, we've got a, a, a plane for, I guess it's a Porter Billy Bishop plane. And then you mentioned that that mounted officer is a Toronto police mounted officer. So I, I have to be the mounted officer, even though I've never ridden a horse. I'm, I'm only sh sad that we don't have a police motorcycle here. I'll be the hockey player. Okay. So do we start We start here? Yep. Uh, okay. You, well, you roll first. Okay. St. Andrew's Station. So this is where you get to buy it. Yep. And you start off with. I'm going to find this. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're buying it. Yeah. You know, that the deal is you got to buy everything, right? It's exactly. It's a great lesson for for young people, the value of real estate. And the, and the value of real estate is that real estate's <laughs> expensive. So, 
Royal Alexandra Theater. Okay. So really, I got to find a way to organize these things. This yeah. takes a long time to. Oh, I, I'm looking at the wrong side. Uh, so that you can color codes. So what is this? This is blue. Hey, look at that. So I got to. And then, then someone gets to play the banker. So oddly enough, Absolutely. my friend who's competitive is always the banker. <laughs> but you can really get into it. You start owning everything. Sadly, it's a game where not everybody wins. It's not. There's no consolation prize. You either win it all or you're bankrupt. Exactly. I like it. Uh, Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna get called out for not actually paying the bank. Exhibition <laughs> place. Okay. There we are. And that's big right supporter next to us. of ours. Oh yeah. And we're right near there today. Yeah, it's just it's just across the, the tracks. Uh, and and we spent a lot of time over there, exhibition place. We were there for the the uh, the Honda Indy, and uh, we're we're there for events all the time. Uh, it, it, and people call it the Princess Gates, but it's actually the Prince's Gates, which uh, which messes with people. I like it. So this game sixty nine ninety nine, exactly. And where can we buy it? You can buy it if you live downtown. You can buy it at places like Ripley's. Uh, you can buy it at the Mervish Theaters. You can believe, uh, buy it at Toronto Police Headquarters at Young and College. Or you can do, as most people are doing it, buying it on, buy it online. And you can go to either Pro Action Cops and Kids. You can go to the uh, MonopolyTorontoEdition.com. Uh, so you've got some options. Either way, it'll get to you. Is there a shipping fee on top of There's it? There's a they... shipping fee. Yes, there is. And um, um, it, we'll ship it there. We have them in Toronto. We'll ship it to you in just a couple of days. So... Perfect timing if you want to buy a great present. This is for a holidays. great. This is a great festive gift for young people, for families, for people with cottages, with for grandparents. We have people buying it for all sorts of different reasons. So I recently bought a whole bunch of Monopoly games. I got the traditional one. I got a. I think I got a Barbie one. We got because I've got I've got girls. We we got a Transformers one. Like th there's different themes and they change the rules a little bit. So I'm in, I'm, I'm curious if the rules are, are very different. Uh, that I will find out once I open my own copy. Uh, but of course, you Toronto Star yeah, has. The uh, uh, one deck Longo has Longo's has the other deck. Uh, so this is your chance and your uh, what was the other cards called? We have this is higher standards. I'm used to this where one says chance and one says something <laughs> yeah. else, so I know what they're all called. But either way, you have your your two decks. Um, you know, you talked about the value of real estate, but this is more than just a game about real estate. It's about the concept of making strategic plans. It's about math. You got to figure your manage your money. Uh, there's consequences when you don't manage your money. Uh, it's very interesting, and you've got to have your wits about you. It is a great educational game. Of that, there is no doubt. And for the whole family, because you can have five players, right? You have five yep. tokens. So there's there's an opportunity here. Uh, of course, the fact I, I'm, I'm excited that Toronto has its own currency. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's even named. The $500 bills are Young Street. The uh, three to five dollar bills are Trinity uh, Bellwoods, for example, and the ten dollar bills are di the Distillery District. And, and the one dollar bill is the Scarborough Bluffs, which I, I used to work at, at, a, at a restaurant in the Scarborough Bluffs many, many, many moons ago. So and it's, it's so many of these places mean something to me. Uh, so it, as we go around the board, uh, you know, I'm looking at all this stuff going, I, I, this, this, is, this is my Toronto. So it's, it's my game. I like it. Uh, what else can you tell me? Is there anything else we need to tell uh, the, the folks watching about? No, I think we've told them how to buy it. We've told them that uh, the proceeds are going to charity and that the game is really a celebration of the city of Toronto. Well, and we've said it everything that there is to say. Uh, we keep playing. <laughs> I, it was my role. Three. That's all I got. Oh, but that's a good That role. works out just really well. That does work really out well. really well, even though we're not doing any of the math and paying out. Uh, but the it's it's the rent. It's when you start building properties and buying. That's where it gets serious. That's where it gets expensive. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming in to, to share uh, the, the game and, uh, and, and deliver the one that I'm buying. Uh, but at least one of the two. I got to get another one. Uh, so either way, I appreciate it. It's been uh, great playing around. And if you get your copy, just buy it because uh, you're celebrating Toronto. You're raising money for a good cause or for multiple causes because there's different charities. Eleven different charities. Fantastic. And uh, each of the, the properties determined where the, those charities were directed? Yes, they chose the charities that they wanted their share of the proceeds to be directed to. Awesome. Again, Order yours now. Get it in time for the holidays so you can have that special gift for the people you care about, the people that you want to smash when you play this game because it's that competitive sometimes, but such fun. So uh, 
Yeah, that's it. Okay, your Thank role. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. And doubles, finish, you get to go again. Finish on double sixes. <laughs> that's all right.